right out loud. They believed in true love. They finally figured out a way to get James out of our lives. Could defeat pure evil. I have just obtained a court order transferring you to a maximum security facility. Oh, my gosh. I'm gonna regret this, Paul. But now the battle begins. They think this is the end. This week. I could have sworn I just saw James. As the world turns on CBS Daytime. You can't do that. Hey, no, I can't. But the governor can. The governor did. I'll get my lawyers on the phone. Waste of time. Your lawyers have no say in this. Neither do you. <laughs> Where you serve your time is at the discretion of the government. The government found you a really nice spot in California. Plenty of sun and fresh air. Not that you'll be able to see or feel any of that in solitary confinement. But at least you'll be away from Cabot and Jordan and Rosanna and all the other lives that you've tried to control. Hey, you there? Dad? You? Speechless. Bon voyage. You've, you've been deceived. I've been a model prisoner. Kept in isolation, been very quiet. All I want to do is just serve out the rest of my time in peace. I mean, you, you can ask the guards. You ask the warden. I have been checking around. Then you know. That corruption is rampant in this facility. Yes. But I'm making reform the cornerstone of my re-election campaign. Thank you very much, Governor. We'll be in touch. Good luck. Yes. Good luck. Paul, certainly you're not stupid enough to think this is going to change anything. Oh, no, this is going to change everything. Because you're going to be in a pit so dark and so deep that you'll never see the light of day again. Why don't you just hide and watch? Free ride's over, old man. No more unlimited phone calls, no more visitors, no more emissaries waiting to do your bidding. You've been cut off. It's all over now. I'm glad to see you do have some Stenberg blood in you. I just don't know why every time you show some fortitude, it's always against me. I don't know. Life is full of irony. Come on. Let's get out of here. Rosanna, you've been painfully silent. What do you have to say about all this? I mean, you're an intelligent woman. You know how to weigh the consequences. Are you sure this is what you really want? More help than I can give you. You're sure this is what you want, Rosanna? This is what everybody wants. I believe the lady's capable of speaking for herself. Dad, it's over. Or right, this, this perfect little nuclear family you're trying to set up, this is not going to happen. I'm crazy about Rosanna. We're together. We're going to stay together. And there's nothing you can do about it. And you're ready to put your faith in Paul. I mean, he's my son, so I'm keenly aware of his uh, shortcomings. We're together. And you can trust him with your life. I mean, Paul does have a questionable track record in taking care of the women he loves. I mean, just ask Rose D'Angelo. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, can't. She's dead. Well, I'll see. So, yeah. wait, wait, don't, don't. Please, come on, let's go. Let's go. Think, Rosanna. Think. You're a new mother with a vulnerable child. You ready to hitch your wagon to a faded star? Are you? There is no doubt in my mind or my heart about Paul. Any other questions? So you played your last card, huh? And you got trumped. How's that feel? Let's just leave Paul, please. You'll never know your sons. You'll never know your, your grandsons. You'll never know peace or happiness or... Or love. It's over. Your life is over. But my life, our life, is just beginning because there's no more boogeyman under the bed. There's no more wolves at the door. You just played with our lives because you didn't have your own life. And now, <laughs> you're going to have to find yourself another toy. You're going to have to find yourself 
another way to pass your time all alone because from now until the day that you die you will be more alone than you could ever have possibly imagined how sharper than a surface to, to have a thankless child you, you want gratitude for what you're gonna regret this paul yeah my only regret is that i didn't do this sooner Move away, stand back. You're being transferred. I guess the bus is here. Let's go celebrate, huh? Houdini couldn't get out of this. I better hope not. This guy's a nasty one. And watch out for his teeth. Teddy bear like you? You don't bite, do you, teddy bear? All we need now is to hear that everything went well on your end. Well, why don't you tell them? Okay. As we speak, James Tenbeck is being transferred not only out of the state, but out of our lives forever. Oh. Really? Oh. Mr. Cabot, you said you were expecting the county clerk? Ah, oh, yes, Mr. Davenport. Pleased to meet you, Miss Cabot. Oh, thank you. The pleasure's mine. I'm sorry for bringing you out so late. Please sit down. Always happy to help. Now, where's the document? Um, uh, I think it's right here. Are you ready to make the past disappear? Since the day we got married. Barbara, if you're listening to this tape, it only means one thing. I need your help. All clear. On the bus, stand back. It's a big deal, right? Yes, here. You're here. So here is to freedom. And how sweet that is. May we not take it for granted. And may it last forever. To us. All of us. To us. To us. To freedom. Jordan is uh, still at the courthouse. Uh -huh. The judge saw no reason to delay the annulment, but right. um, Jordan's going to stay there and walk the papers. Probably wants the to see you with his own eyes. Yeah, and with my blessing, you know, with your father involved, we can't be too careful. No, I just got off with the governor, and he said that as we speak, James is on his way to Pelican Bay Prison. No ocean view for him. No, 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 no phones, no visitors. The invincible James Stenbeck has finally been taken down. We sure? I'm sure. We did it. We did it. It's done. It's done. <laughs> We're free. <laughs> free. Come here. Whoa. What I miss? Parker, how you doing, man? It's good to see you. Yeah. You know, it's really cool outside. You, uh, you want to go check it out? Okay, wh why don't you go? I'll be there in a sec, all right? Don't go too far, okay? Don't worry, Mom. Okay. Well, it's very nice to see everybody so happy. Well, we have good reason. Yeah. My father got transferred to a federal penitentiary in California. He's been completely <sighs> locked down, completely isolated. His whole support system's been dismantled. Well, that's great. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, I'm gonna go outside. Can I take Cabot out? Yes. Thank you. Very okay. much. Okay, I appreciate that. 